Welcome back to Let the Quran Speak. What does Islam say about uh, interfaith dialogue and, and how can Muslims engage in interfaith dialogue? Uh, with me is Brother Shabir. Brother Shabir, um, what sort of efforts are being made um, in terms of relating to other people? Well, we have come a long way and in the present um, uh, world we, we, we see a lot of efforts uh, at interfaith uh, dialogue, not only among Muslims but uh, others as well. There was a time when people uh, were more isolationist and people uh, tried to live by themselves and, and have their own truths and now we're more interactive. The world has been reduced to a global village. Uh, International communications uh, has uh, brought everyone close together in terms of the shared common values. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we, we need to recognize and celebrate these uh, shared values. I guess a long time ago, the, the, the relationship that you had with people of other faith was that you try to convert them. Now that has changed, that, that mindset has changed a little bit. Yes, there is a recognition that people basically remain in the faith that they were born in. And if they, they might become lackadaisical or lukewarm with regards to that faith, but necessarily, but, but mainly they remain in, in that faith, at least to identify uh, with it. And uh, conversions are only few and, and exceptional. Uh, now, of course, the Muslim mandate is to keep spreading the message, uh, mm -hmm. just as the traditional Christian mandate was to go out and baptize uh, and, uh, the nations. Mm -hmm. uh, the Quranic mandate in terms of spreading the message is uh, very uh, strong as, as well. Uh, it is interesting, though, that uh, the Quran allows for a certain diversity. And, a re and the Quran recognizes that this will remain the case. Surah Are there five, specific verses? That you yeah, Surah 5 verse 48, for example, says that if God had willed, he could have made everyone one ummah, one, one community. Mm -hmm. But he has left it so that he may try you in that which he has given you. Uh, so you should brace with each other in doing good things. You're going to return to God and he is going to inform you about the things that you used to differ about. So it, there is a recognition here that people will remain differing about issues and uh, they should overlook that uh, or at least transcend that and try to strive uh, and race with each other in doing good things instead because the theological disputes cannot be settled here and it is only when we return to God that God will inform us as to who has been right and who was uh, wrong. Does, does the Quran offer any guidance in how to engage with other people? Yes, uh, our engagement should be characterized by dignity and kindness. For example, in Surah 16, in verse number 125, the verse says, uh, uh, Invite to the way of your Lord with wisdom and beautiful preaching, and uh, argue with them in ways that are more gracious. So a Muslim has to be gracious in his encounter with others. He has to be dignified and uh, respectful of the other. Uh, for that's the only way that the respect can, can be shared. In uh, Surah 26, 29, verse 46, in Surah 29, verse 46, there is a mention that uh, Muslims should say to the people of the book in particular, that your God and, and our God is one, and it is to him that we submit. So there is a calling here to that which is common. Mm -hmm. Surah 3, verse 64 uh, says that uh, we are to say to the people of the book, تَعَالَوْا إِلَىٰ كَلِمَةٍ سَوَاءٍ بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَكُمْ أَلَّا نَعْبُدَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ uh, let, uh, say to the people of the book, let's come to a common word between us and you, that we are to worship none but Allah, وَلَا نُشْرِكَ بِهِ شَيْئًا And we, we are not to associate any partners with him. وَلَا يَتَخْذَ بَعْدُنَا بَعْدًا أَرْبَابًا مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ None of us is to take as large anyone other than Allah. So we're actually so, called upon to engage with Yeah, we're others. actually called upon to engage. And uh, I spoke about respectful dialogue. The, Quran says, "La tasubbu ladina yaduna min dun Allahi, fa yasubbu Allah adwan bi ghairi an." Do not uh, insult that which they worship other than Allah, uh, for then they might uh, insult Allah out of their ignorance, uh, meaning that they might not realize that by insulting Allah, they are really insulting their own God. Mm -hmm. So uh, we might feel that what they're worshipping is not the true God and and so we might take some liberty in denigrating that which they worship yes. but the Quran is warning us against that because if we do that then they in a tit-for-tat response uh, may insult 
the very God that they believe in, not realizing that they're doing that, but, but just because they're trying to get even with us. What about dialogue on, on other issues other than, you know, God, let's say on the environment or on common issues that religions might hold dear? Yeah, these are very important starting points for dialogue and, and not only starting points but continual uh, areas in which uh, dialogue can, can, can take place and mm -hmm. should take place. Uh, because we, there are so many uh, issues that can only be solved at the collective level. And if uh, Muslims alone or Christians alone attempt to solve these uh, problems, they, they cannot. But combined, Muslims, Christians, Jews, Buddhists, Hindus, Confucianists, uh, Taoists, uh, people of all faiths, people even of no faith, can come together and solve some of the uh, common humanitarian crises uh, that uh, we face from time to time. So uh, to a certain level of engagement requires that we put aside the theological questions and we look at the practical issues uh, that confront uh, the entire human population. But of course we don't want to water down our own beliefs. No, and, and, and that does not mean that uh, we, we put away the theological issues forever. Mm -hmm. it, it means that there is a time and place for everything. There is a time and place in which we will discuss the theological issues and then there is another context in which uh, we will focus on some other issues and in those contexts we want to be as inclusive as possible. All right, thank you for that, Mr. We'll take a break. When we come back, we answer questions we've received from you, our viewers.